technology has brought us to a point to where ring design is not only a little bit easier, but it can actually be a lot easier for the customer to go ahead and get exactly what they want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first start by picking a finger size. I'm going to go pick four and a half. Come down here. We're going to actually set that. And that's what we have right here. After that, what we want to do is we want to put some rails up so that we know what it's going to actually follow. And how we do this is we just actually put these little profiles here. And what it does is it tells us where the ring is going to lie within. Then we want an outside curve. We want to give it a little European shank. That's the square bottom shank. And now it's going to follow that area right in there. So let's run a simple sweep. We're going to pick that rail and the outside rail. We're going to pick these three profiles just so it runs smoothly. Well, we didn't want it closed, so let's do that again. Pick those two. Keep it open. And then pick those three. There's what we have. And we can actually adjust those very simply by just going ahead and pulling these handlebars out a little bit more. We can go wider, watch it carefully, or we can go back, or we can do any width we want, height we want, does not matter. Next, let's put a stone, let's pick a one carat princess cut, right there is what we have, and let's put a crown around it. Now, as you can see with the head builder, we're going to put that crown there, and then we have this pre-designed crown here, but what we, the neat thing we can do is we can actually tow that in a little bit more, tow it out, doesn't matter, we can lift and lower the height of that crown a little bit and we can change the like the rail size which is kind of fun because those are a little bit thick so let's just pick that rail and let's just move that a little bit thinner how about right there and there we have it we have our crown that we want then what we do is we go ahead and we cut this inner so that it's all rounded like that and there you have it we have a finished ring that can be changed and it's fairly simple and fairly quick so as you can see, there's absolutely no reason anybody should just settle for what's on the store shelves. You can actually have your ring custom made. And not only that, before you ever really even start, you can actually do a rendering of this ring. And the neat thing about it is, let's just say we want to go all platinum on this ring. We take that ground plane, we're just going to give it a white background. So just simple little color for rendering purposes now only. We're going to take that, we're going to grab the stone, and we're going to make that, oh, let's just make it a diamond, since we're going to talk diamonds and rings. We'll put that on there, and then we're going to take the metals that we have chosen, the head and the body, and we're going to make that all platinum. We'll pick that and choose that color, give it some lighting, and then we're going to render this. Rendering takes a few seconds, but the neat thing about this whole thing is you can actually get exactly what you want. You can make those little changes. It's very simple now with the technology. And the biggest advantage of this is a lot of places will sell their rings pre-mounted, which means, hey, you're buying whatever size crown that's in there and you don't have any choices. So here you have your ring. We haven't even carved it yet. This is all computer programming. You can have it the way you want it, exactly how it is.